we're going to do in this video is actually go through how to sell a part inside of Lizzie. So it's just a very quick part sell that we're going to do. And before we get started, all of the invoices that we actually create have got to have a customer linked to them. Now we can do a general contact to link them, but the, the primary point here is that in earlier videos, you saw how to locate contacts and that same control and that same process is actually used in the inventory module to generate invoices. So what you've already learned inside of the CRM system, you can now bring over to the invoicing section to create invoices. And so what we're going to do now is actually create a really quick part cell. So to get started, we're going to go to the invoicing module and we're going to just come down and tell it to create a new invoice. Now, right now you can see that we already have Brian Smith selected up here. So we've got an option to use the current contact that we're working with, or we can locate a new contact. And then I'm going to click locate just to show you that this is the same locate screen that we had when we were locating contacts earlier. So we're just going to select the customer that we want to create the invoice for. And Lizzie has the ability to create a lot of different types of invoices. So we can create part sales, internet and catalog sales, major units. We can purchase used goods. We can purchase uh, parts from, from customers. There's a whole lot of things that, that Lizzie allows us to be able to do here on this invoicing. In this video, we're going to stick to just doing a part sale. So we're going to select part sale. And at this point, we're just going to type in the part number. And if you remember from earlier videos, when we started typing in the customer, the system was automatically bringing up a list of contacts as I typed. Here, the system has got access to, in, in this particular database, about one and a half million part numbers that it's linked to for this particular demo database. And you can get some idea of how fast it is at bringing back this list and helping us to identify what part we're looking for. Now, we do not use prefixes inside of Lizzie. We actually have the part number with the manufacturer that goes with it and we show the quantity. So I'm just going to select this part that we have in stock and we're going to tell it to add one from this bin. Lizzie actually has the ability to track inventory in multiple bin locations and even multiple physical locations where I've got a warehouse or two or three warehouses and a, and a main store. So we're going to go ahead and add this item to the invoice. And one of the things that we have done inside of Lizzie is we wanted to have the most accurate inventory management system that you could ever want to have. But there's a couple things that happen all the time with different customers and, and it's a very difficult thing to try to figure out. One is I go to sell a part on an invoice and the inventory is wrong. I don't have the part that I'm that the system tells me I'm supposed to have or the system tells me I don't have any of them and I've got a customer standing here in front of me with one in his hand. These are things, and to us, that customer is the single most important thing going on right now, not my inventory discrepancies and not my employee trying to deal with those inventory discrepancies. I need to get that customer to the point where he knows when he walks in my store, he's not going to be sitting there waiting on me to do anything. I'm going to go out of my way to get him taken care of and get him back to his life as quickly as possible. So, what Lizzie does to handle these inventory discrepancies that inevitably will come up at some point is we have added a green and a red button here. The red button is my way of telling Lizzie that I have an inventory problem and I need her help. What will happen is Lizzie will pop up and ask me how many of those parts I physically have, whether I have one, two, three. It's not asking me to do inventory adjustments because I went back there and the inventory said there were five and there's only three. It's asking me how many physical parts do I have in my hand that I have a problem with helping this particular customer. Once I answer that question, Lizzie will automatically go out, adjust my inventory, do everything it needs to do to, to take care of the problem. Let me sell that part to the customer right now, or it will order the part for the customer immediately. It will also alert the parts manager that we have now, that I have adjusted the inventory on the fly up here at the parts counter, and it will lock that part so that, the, that they cannot order it until one of the inventory people goes and actually re reviews that part to make sure that my adjustment was actually done correctly. Could be that I was looking in the wrong bin or the customer picked it up from the wrong place. 
But in any case, the, the Parks Department needs to go and actually review that adjustment before they can place any further orders on with that particular part. So while it is very quick and easy for me to actually make those adjustments, there are the necessary back-end checks to make sure that we don't have any theft or any, anybody adjusting inventory that, they, that shouldn't be. Everything is recorded inside of Lizzie. So I'm going to go ahead in this case and click the green button, which is my way of telling Lizzie that everything is okay and I want to sell that particular part. Um, other things that we can see here really quickly, um, we can open up the detail and we can actually drill all the way down into the actual inventory information for that particular item from right here on the invoice if we have access to that information. So in this case, I'm just going to cancel this and we're just going to go ahead and cash out the invoice. So I'm going to come over here to pay invoice. And one of the things to note about Lizzie is that Lizzie tracks the customer, not the invoice, which means that when I go to pay an invoice, if that customer owes me for accounts receivable items, a service ticket, multiple invoices, all of the information that that customer owes me money for is going to show up on this payment screen. I have the ability to only choose one or all of them when I go to make this payment. Down in the bottom left-hand corner of our uh, dashboard control panel, which is the same place that we were looking at to get our the fact that we were logging telephone calls, now you can see Lizzie's actually seeing or showing that we have an invoice that we're working on. So this is Lizzie's way of communicating with you that she knows what you're doing and is going to keep you up to date and, and make sure that this thing gets completed. Now, if I were to close the browser and log back in, Lizzie still knows that I'm working on that particular invoice and will pick me up right where I left off to be able to finish it out. So everything that I've done is all being saved while I'm doing it. There's no extra steps that need to be done. And I'm able to pick this thing up at any point. I can even leave this computer and go to a completely different computer and pick up right where I left off. So the only thing left to do here, because Lizzie knows the invoice that we're working on, she's automatically selected it for payment up here. And all I've got to do is select the payment type that we're going to use to pay this invoice, select the cash drawer that we're attached to. We can use multiple payment methods if we need to go in and break it down to where $10 is cash and the rest of it is a check. Uh, we can go in and add those additional payment methods in there for things like that. Um, once we get this the way we want it, we just select the pay button to pay out the invoice and print out our receipt in whatever manner we want to print out. Now, the last thing I want to show you is I'm going to click on view current invoice. And I want to go down here to the bottom because one of the things that you need to understand about Lizzie is that Lizzie is a fully functional double entry accounting system, which means that everything that you are doing inside of this business system, adjusting inventory, receiving purchase orders, writing checks, everything that you're doing is hitting a general ledger so that you have a real-time access or real-time access to your P&L, your balance statement, whatever it is that you're wanting to look at, it's all there and ready for you to review at a moment's notice. There's no end of day closing. There's no end of month closings that you've got to do. You basically deposit your money into the checkbook every day and all of the accounting stuff is being dealt with as you're using the software. So just like we automatically are doing a lot of things when you're logging telephone calls and keeping the correspondence linked together and all that kind of stuff, Lizzie doing the same thing on the business side if you're using the entire application and, and you're using the invoicing module or inventory module or anything else. It's handling all of the extra work for you automatically so that when you're ready for that information, it's there at a, at a, a click of a mouse.